In this video, you'll learn how to add multiple instruments to a single chart in NinjaTrader. Viewing market data from different instruments in the same chart panel can be a quick way to compare price action. I'll show you how to add a second instrument to an existing chart, how to resize and organize chart panels, and discuss equidistant bar spacing. I've already loaded a chart with one instrument, however I'd like to add another trading instrument to this chart for comparison purposes. I can do this by accessing the data series configuration window from the right click menu. Just like the initial instrument I added to this chart, I'll select the instrument I'd like to add from the top left menu. I can use the pre-configured lists or the instrument lookup feature. Notice on the right side the panel property is set to new panel. This is going to create a new chart panel below my existing instrument data for this new instrument I'm adding. When I click OK, you can see a new panel has been added to the bottom of this chart with the new instrument loaded. I can resize these panels by clicking and dragging on the panel break. If I'd like to move the new instrument I loaded to the top panel, I can do so by clicking on the price action once to make the anchors appear, then clicking and dragging to the top margin of my chart window. When I release my mouse button, the new instrument has been moved to the top panel. To demonstrate equidistant bar spacing, I'll set one of my data series to a 150 tick interval and the other to a one minute interval. Equidistant bar spacing is a chart property that determines whether bars are plotted with an equal distance from each other or plotted on a horizontal axis with even time spacing. When this property is disabled, the distance between the bars is not necessarily the same. Bars are instead plotted on a fixed timeline on which distance represents an equal amount of time. This allows traders to gauge momentum on non-time based charts such as tick or volume, by visualizing how long it takes to build each bar. Gaps may occur if no bar is formed during the time interval, and overlapping bars may occur if bars are formed near the same time period, which is why you may prefer equidistant bar spacing instead. This property can be enabled or disabled from the chart properties menu. You can see the difference this makes when I toggle equidistant bar spacing. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more of our videos for quick tips to help you get started with NinjaTrader.